so have anybody gone through the uh, budget of this year rajay government me me budget ekak balapu lamai ko kawuru hari kiyewa da budget ekak budget highlights anybody yes or no no sir no many of you may not do wala vitaranne me kisi kenek me karanne but we blame one government came we blame it right so then we put our vote to the another one right we take another government right again we blame for five years right so this is the routine job of the people in sri lanka but they don't know what they have to do if any government comes or came in past or will come in future have to set only one set of goals ekama goal set ekak thamai hadanna issara haduwet eka israta hadanna thiyenne eka dan thiyenne eka why the country is still in the same state same position hitapu thanama thiyena ratak israhata geniyanda nan hadanna thiyenne e thanata adala e me objectives e goals tika vitharamai kavuru awa right until the people realize what is their role the people who rule the country have to set only one set of goals right but different governments use different types of words to set that same goals right that's it nothing beyond that right so that's why i asked you to read the uh, budget right so it will show the allocation so see here uh, this is related to you plantation and agriculture this is mostly related to you right not all right so we'll see this what are the goals so what is the allocation here 9 billion rupees for plantation 55 billion rupees for agriculture the highest allocation right for agriculture right and what is the expectation expectation is export oriented competitive plantation sector right export oriented competitive plantation sector is required to this country right to do that the people have allocated around 9 billion rupees right so what we have to do with this this is these are the things you have to do you have to promote value added products for tea rubber and coconut you think are you capable enough to do this right without without the education can you do this without coming through the university or whatever the higher type of higher education can you do this can you improve the quality infrastructure can you do uh, start new businesses right can you improve the traditional products to new products right can you support to small holders right can you can you value add to your ceylon spices traditional spices right can you do that can you diversify the coconut industry without knowledge without education can you do this nobody can do that right that's why i told you the education is the most powerful tool to develop this country right okay well let's see the agriculture sector see 55 billion rupees but what is the expectation and what is what we have to do we have to make technologically driven agriculture technology driven agriculture economy right for making innovative highly productive and profitable agrarian economy mehem ekak hadanna nan educated people are required no we need educated people to do this right in some countries some people are saying that i am a farmer right proudly they are saying that i am a farmer but can it be uh, done in sri lanka if in sri lanka if a person says that uh, i am a farmer what will happen to him yaar mukada wenne nobody will care na who cares he is a farmer who cares no ema ne the what's your opinion that's why the smart agriculture is required right so to do the smart agriculture the people who are doing the agriculture should be educated 